Camera Hub Update 1.11 introduces Voice Sync. This feature listens to your voice through your microphone and, based on what you're saying, will scroll through your script automatically, changing speed or pausing depending on how you're talking. On the left side under the scrolling section, you'll find a toggle option with constant and voice sync. Click on voice sync. When you use voice sync for the first time on a Windows machine with an NVIDIA GPU, you will see a small window pop up telling you that Camera Hub needs to download some additional files in order to work. Mac OS does not need this step. Once you select voice sync, select your microphone input. This is what voice sync will listen to. Activate voice sync by clicking on the play button at the bottom of Camera Hub or by using your Stream Deck. Voice sync is now listening to your microphone and you're ready to start. Here's an example to try it out. With voice sync, you don't need to pick a precise scrolling speed. Voice sync follows your tempo and makes sure that you're never rushing or dragging. You can pause to collect your thoughts, take a sip of water, which I might need to do, or even skip a sentence if you just feel like it. Voice sync will move ahead with you, keeping you where you need to be in your script. When you want to stop using voice sync, just stop talking. If you want to stop voice sync from listening, click on pause. On the top right of the prompter display, you'll see some icons showing if voice sync is listening to you, and another icon to show if the selected microphone is muted. Head to elgato.com for more detailed information about voice sync and camera hub. Subscribe to us here on YouTube to learn more about Prompter and other Elgato products. Thanks for watching.